In the first part, we covered the basics of how major arpeggios are built. We also created a roadmap for playing major arpeggios across the entire neck. This lesson will give you some powerful exercises to help you navigate these arpeggios musically and with flair. You'll be surprised at just how much melodic colour we can squeeze from a simple three note arpeggio. With all the exercises we're about to look at, remember to use a metronome to speed up gradually and keep good timing. If you need help specifically with timing, I have lessons for this on the channel. Let's begin by referring back to one of the first major arpeggio patterns we learned. In the first part, we simply followed the arpeggio in its natural sequence. This time, we're going to stagger the sequence, so we're playing one note back and two forward, which introduces a sequential repetition starting on the third of the arpeggio as follows. Let's now reverse the sequence coming down the pattern. Of course, we don't always want to play through an entire pattern like this. Try isolating and repeating small segments of the pattern using these sequences. But if we did want a prolonged sequence, we could apply this staggering technique to one of the connected patterns we learned in the first part. Just by changing the sequence of notes in the arpeggio, we've created something more melodically interesting. Let's make things a little more complicated by occasionally skipping notes in the sequence. Moving up the pattern, we could start on 1, but instead of moving to 3, we skip the 3 and move to 5. We then move back down to where we started and repeat the skipped sequence starting on 3. Across the entire pattern, here's what we get. Reversing the sequence to move down the pattern, You can find all the tabs for these exercises on the lesson page, linked in the description. These exercises are great for building finger dexterity and pick hand coordination. Even with just 20 solid minutes per day playing through these exercises, you'll be surprised at the rate of your progress. Now for some fret jumping exercises. For this exercise, we're going to use the top three strings of our pattern and build a sequence across the neck. It's up to you how far up and down the neck you take it, but to keep things simple, we'll start from that same fifth fret position as before and keep everything within 12 frets. First, I'm gonna isolate those top three strings. We're then gonna play through them in overlapping segments, starting with the lowest pattern on the third string. Moving to the next segment, again starting on the third string. Next segment. 
Practice the segments first individually and then linking the segments together smoothly, ensuring there's no break in the timing as you move between each one. And of course, just like previous exercises, we can try different arpeggio sequences. Depending on the key in which you're playing, you may be able to continue this sequence further until you run out of neck. While you're going through these sequences, you may see new concepts emerge, such as how the major triad can be played right up the neck on just three strings. So keep your eyes open as you move through these patterns, because where there's an arpeggio, there's a chord shape. They are intrinsically connected. With enough practice, you'll be able to connect different patterns and sequences right across the neck, almost at random. For more help, including tabs of the exercises we've looked at, help with economy picking, and additional exercises, visit the lesson page. Cheers. Mm -hmm.